What's up, badass Black Desert Mobile fans? In this video, I'm going to showcase both the Ascended Tamer, the Wolf Queen, and the Awakened Tamer, Sirius. I'm going to showcase both of them PvE farming, whether it's in Hadoom or Elyon, and some mini bosses and some boss rushes. I am going to cover the skills. Now, I did do this in detail over, uh, you can check out the, the, the videos over on my channel under Awakened or Ascension Playlist, whichever it is you're looking to. If you're looking to watch them both, you have to go to both individually. Uh, so the first skill here, you do have to hold the skill button in for an additional attack. It doesn't offer anything uh, aside from the additional attack. The Both these classes come with a solid amount of super armor, and uh, three for each of these does work in the arena. So they are a pretty solid arena classes. The second skill does give you super armor, but not in the arenas, and it applies a daze on successful hit. This, damage, this skill does also have a pretty solid amount of damage tied to it. 860% on two hits, so you're looking at... Uh, 1720 percent in total the third skill again does not it is giving you super armor but not in the arena so a lot of i mean six super armors in total uh so you're going to be that is very strong for node wars siege wars and ramonness it also applies a stun so you are getting some cc out of that skill the next skill here, it applies super armor and it works in the arena and it bounds targets. And this skill is nice because it pulls all the targets towards her. Now, it does 180% damage, but it does 12 hits during that time frame. So it is a very strong skill. It adds super armor in the arenas, it bounds the targets, and it does uh, pulls them all towards her and does a lot of damage. The next skill here is a very, it's a mobility skill. It's not used for PvE farming, whether it's Hadoom or Elyon at all. This is strictly for PvP. It doesn't do damage. You do get invincibility and a super armor on this skill. She dashes pretty far. It's pretty nice uh, to either help close gaps or get out of damage areas, whether it's large scale PvP. Up next is, uh, it comes with one charge on a six second cooldown time. Does do 355% damage on four hits and apply a knockdown. This skill does have some AoE in the frontal area of her. So you could get away with using this in PvP if you want to get some CC because it does apply that knockdown. Our next skill is coming with... The next skill comes with if you hold the button in you get an additional attack and it applies a knockdown on the last successful hit. This skill does have two initial charges as well on an 8 second cooldown time. And it does 315% damage on 7 hits. And again, if you hold that skill button in is when you get that knockdown. So you do have to hold it in. It does take a little bit longer and it's probably not the best for PvE farming. Next skill applies a super armor. Not in the arenas. But it does give you a knockdown and successful hit. I know this skill is great for combos with other skills. Uh, as far as if you want to hit him with a stun and then you can knock him down. So this is typically like the third, maybe even the fourth skill on the combo setup. We do have a skill which summons High Lang and he fights side by side. And this is pretty much all the time if you see him up there attacking uh, Yuraka. This is pretty much all the time you can keep him. You can see these skills right above all of the skills on the right. It is next to his black, her Black Spirit skills. And he does have his own attacks. You can summon him at any time. Our next skill after that is uh gives you super armor and it works in the arenas this is our 10th skill or ultimate it bounds targets in the area and it knocks down targets on last hit so it does bound the targets pulls them towards her she has super armor while doing that and then it knocks them down her heal it or her next skill her her 11th skill 11th ability she summons and mounts high lang it lasts for 30 seconds and she has increased DP by plus 70. Every single one of his attacks does 535% damage. And he does attack pretty quickly. We'll have to do some testing to see if it's viable for PvE farming. Because it does take some additional time to mount him and dismount him. Her heal slash ultimate heals her for the standard 500 HP. Increases her AP by 35 and crit by 10%. That does last for 30 seconds as well. Her full kit for the Ascended Wolf Queen. The Tamer Ascension. She comes with six super armors, three work in the arenas. She has four knockdowns, two bounds, one daze, and one stun, as well as one invincibility. And that invincibility is tied to that mobility skill that she has, which is for PvP. So that is the full ascended tamer Wolf Queen. You can see here some more here action here. Some some on the big screen so you guys can see what she looks like. She is very fun to play. Especially when you mount the wolf, 
Mounting that wolf is actually incredible for helping level, especially you know at the beginning levels because he he keeps your AP and DP and he keeps the strength. Whereas uh, if you don't have her him the skills, it's based off of your skill damages and his bad damage is based off your AP and DP. So it is nice for leveling. Mounting, you can see him right here. We're mounted up on him. So that aspect is a lot of fun. He is very quick too. So for mobility, you can get around very quickly with him, especially if you mount him for bigger node wars and siege wars and stuff like that. Up next, we have the Awakened Tamer Sirius. Now, both of these classes will require uh, new weapons. So if you plan on playing either one of them, you are going to need to save up some Shaka 2 coins to get their new weapons. Sirius, the, awa the Awakened Tamer, for her first skill, she's coming with Applies a Bound. It also gives a combo effect. If you hold the skill button in, it applies an additional attack and a knockdown on successful last attack. It is a very nice skill. It can be used in all situations, PvP, PvE. I do like it a lot. And you will see some PvP action with her. I was able to get some footage so you can see her in some arenas. She is awesome. Her second skill... Comes with super armor, works in the arenas, a daze on first hit, and a stun on last successful hit. And this is an MPU skill, so it comes on a 5 second cooldown time, does 550% damage on 2 hits. Up next, the third skill, plus a knock up on successful hit. This skill isn't viable for PvE farming of any sorts, this is strictly a PvP skill. It does apply that knock up on successful hit. It comes with one charge on an eight second cooldown time. The next skill applies a stun on successful hit. It does come with one charge on a three second cooldown time. So it is a really, really quick skill. So you can get away with using this more often and it does apply that stun. So this is gonna be great for PVP, uh, that skill. The next skill, the turtle, turtle looking one applies a knockdown on successful hit. This skill comes with one charge on a five second cooldown time and it does a little under 1200 percent total damage in total for that skill and again applies that knockdown on successful hit the next skill we have is coming with invincibility while preparing the skill super armor with the skill but neither of those work in the arenas she like stands on her staff and jumps forward and it applies a knockdown on last hit. The next skill comes with super armor is not in the arena as well. A knockback on first hit and a knockdown on last hit. Kind of looks like a flaming uh, dragon there. It is a very nice skill for both PvP and PvE. I do like it a lot. Our next skill looks like a ice, ice guy there. Comes with super armor, is not in the arena, and stun on successful hit. And again, I don't have names for these skills because they always come translated wrong. So I'm just showing you the images of the skills and then telling you what they do. This one does have two charges on a seven second cooldown time. And it does 1440% damage. So it is pretty decent on the damage output. And it gives you that stun. No super armor in the arenas though. Our next skill gives you forward guard and super armor, both apply in the arenas and a knockdown on last successful hit. And this is the ultimate for Sirius. So this is a very, very strong skill for all scenarios. Up next is super armor applies in the arenas, bound and it pulls the targets closer towards her. And this is the 11th skill for the Sirius. And so it pulls the targets towards her. This is not a PVE skill. It pulls targets towards her. She, she grabs them and then she like kicks them backwards. So it is a nice skill for PVP because it does apply in the arenas as well. But I would probably stay away from the skill for PVE farming because it's not quick. Uh, it does take a little bit longer to bounce those targets. For her heal, it's a 500 HP passive heal. She does get 50 AP increase for 30 seconds as well, so it's pretty standard there. She does also have High Lang as well. He can be summoned at any time as well. Same with both the Awakened and Ascended versions. They get High Lang to fight side by side her. He does attack mobs in PvP, PvE, all scenarios. He helps fight. So he is a nice little sidekick. Like I said, both the Awakened and Ascended version get High Lang as a sidekick, but the Wolf Queen the Ascended version, she gets to ride him, and that is her 11th skill, and it, you know he does some extra damage. He offers a little bit more mobility over there. So for her full kit for Sirius, 
She's coming with six super armors, three apply in the arenas. She's also coming with six knockups and or knockdowns, one daze and three stuns, two bounds, one invincibility, and one forward guard. She, she has a pretty versatile kit. Now, both of these classes are mostly melee classes. They don't offer many ranged skills, so you will have to fight mobs, bosses, uh, PvP up close. They do offer some, some versatility and mobility, both of them, so... Uh, playing both of them can be a lot of fun. That is the Ascended and Awakened showcase of the Tamer. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button on your way out. And with that being said, I will see you next time.